Hi friends, welcome to Cosplay Kitchen in part two of our Disney Park series. Today I'm Disney bounding Jose Carioca from Brazil and we're going to be making the copycat recipe from the Banya Beef Barbecue Sauce from the Bengal Barbecue. Whew, that's a mouthful. All right, let's start assembling. Start with our soy sauce and our cornstarch. We're just stir those together first to make sure that our cornstarch gets nice and totally mixed in. Reason being, if this is not fully dissolved and mixed in, then when we go to heat it up, whether you're heating it up on the grill or you're heating it up to on the stove to turn it into sauce, those clumps will remain clumps. They will not help to thicken anything. So once it looks like everything's dissolved, we are going to then add in our granulated garlic. We are not using fresh garlic. The reason being, if you were to use fresh garlic, with how long you would cook it, when you have garlic in really small pieces, real quick, chili flakes, when you have garlic in small pieces and you go to heat it up, the garlic tends to turn bitter. So if you're using the granulated dried garlic, you're gonna get the nice sweet flavor. Add in our sesame seed oil. And last but not least, our freshly ground black pepper. So give that a good stir. And the base for our banya beef, bangle barbecue skewers, is all ready to go. All right, friends, pretty simple, right? So from here, we have three choices. We can either throw this over some chicken or beef and use it as a marinade and take it over to the grill, or we can put it over that same chicken or beef, put it into our crock pot, then add just enough sock to cover for those of us who may be a little short on time, or, like we are today, we can go and take it over to the stove and make it into a fantastic sauce to keep in the refrigerator for chicken or beef. Wait. So if there's chicken and beef, then is that three options or is it? We're gonna go to the stove. Now the Bengal Barbecue has been at Disneyland for 28 years. This, what used to occupy that space was Aunt Jemima's Pancake House. Over time, the area has changed quite a bit. It actually changed very recently, just under two years ago, they did some major renovations. Bamboo Club Barbecue, the really downside of it was it had nowhere to eat. So although its fans were very, very, very loyal, it didn't have a very wide fan base due to its lack of, well, anywhere to sit and enjoy the food. So Disney went and they took over the store that used to sell the Indiana Jones merchandise and they turned it into an eating area. They also expanded out their menu as well. So what you see over at the Bengal Barbecue now is not necessarily what was sold at the beginning 28 years ago. So you wanna make sure you stay stirring fairly constantly. This is what's gonna help keep it from burning Perfect, it's just how I want it. Always keep in mind, it's so much easier to add water than it is for you to go and add in cornstarch. It's easier to thin than it is to thicken. Reason being, as soon as that cornstarch hits that hot liquid, it's going to clump up and be pretty gross. Also remember that like mine, I want it to be fairly thick thicker than it actually is right now, which is good, because as it cools, it is going to continue to thicken. And there you have it, the Banya Beef Barbecue Sauce Copycat Recipe for the Bengal Barbecue at Disneyland. Now, if you're not gonna be using it right away and you wanna store it in your fridge, be sure to go and seal it up really tight. 
The sesame seed oil in there is gonna soak up any kind of gross, nasty smells or flavors you might have living inside of your refrigerator, no matter how clean it is. If you wanna keep it in your refrigerator, it'll keep for roughly five to seven days, or in the case of my house, roughly five to seven hours before I ever get a chance to use it. I'm looking at you, camera guy. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you had fun. If you did, be sure to throw us up a like. Maybe consider subscribing. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook for any kind of updates. If there's a cosplay you'd like to see, a recipe you'd like to know more about, be sure to leave it in the comments. We'll do our best to try and get to it. In the meantime, don't forget to join us again later for another cosplay, another recipe, or a cocktail. And always remember, don't eat ill as snow.